So here's a quick one, just because it's late and I'm tired. We uh, just finished or I technically just uh, I just finished installing this air system, and I'll give you kind of my fresh ideas as I just finished it, uh, as to you know kind of what I like and what I don't like. So here's our compressor, and I know that it's leaking like a sieve. It's this joint right here. I'm gonna put a shutoff valve and replace that fitting. Hose comes in, and yes, I do know that this is quarter inch hose, or quarter inch fittings, rather, on this, uh, what, 3 8 hose. So I know there's a bottleneck here. Um, and so we just did a 90. And then, so it's, it's male here, so yeah, female connector, quick disconnect, male here, 90, um, which I had to drill out after I installed the connector. The threads had basically cut off the port, the, the through port, so I just drill, took a drill that was the right size and drilled that out. So there's that, um, at my own risk. Reducer, reducer into this piece, which I believe, I took a picture, I'll, I'll, I'll put it up. So from this joint, it goes blue aluminum pipe all the way up, all the way over. You can kind of see, I did a little notch in that rafter there just to get it past the, the, the wall there. And there's clip, 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 clip. There's two on the wall there, clip and clip. And then so the comes out through the wall, tees off, goes to a hose reel. There's a I opted not to use the the default blocks and I just wanted to do hard line like this. And there's a cutoff up there, there's a cutoff right here, which actually lets you control some of your airflow. So from that T there goes over that steel I-beam to another T to another hose reel with the same connect configuration, shut off, shut off. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's... To get from a quarter to, I think it's uh, to a quarter from like three eighths or something like that. I'll pull up the chart. A bunch of fittings to reduce that down. And then from that one again over, and then I didn't use another T. It just went straight to a termination there, coiled up the extra hose, and this is an old hose reel that's slow, but still works fine, doesn't leak. So kind of some of my thoughts is, hey, you gotta be super stupid strong, get those things on there, because they want you to finger tighten the fittings and then um, go another three quarter turn and uh, I tell you what, my arms are burning. You know, um, so basically all I did is I took some of the spare fittings and in, into Home Depot for in my case, but I'm pretty, pretty sure Lowe's will let you do it too. And um, just put it into the thread pitch checker or the, the pipe checker for thread and then just out of the package, opened up all the packages that I thought I needed and reduced it all down. And like, I don't remember how much I spent, but it was, it was a pretty decent chunk of change. Um, but all the lines are working and I like these reels because they're And check this feature out so like having the cutoff here at the lever allows you to kind of slowly dial in
gentle miss, full pressure. So. It's an interesting system. I think it's gonna work well, but man, it was difficult to get up there. And uh, cool, well, those are my initial thoughts. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, the price was good um, compared um, don't use PVC. I did that before. No good. And, um, I mean, you could always just run this hose. Like, you could buy just the spools of this and run it. But it's, the cost is about the same, if not a little bit more, than this. And I went up two sizes. So, from a quarter to three quarter. So, you get a little bit more capacity in your system and, you know, a little bit more flow. So... Uh, we do have plans to upgrade the compressor so that, you know, and then I'll just run another line from that termination out because um, I still have plenty of hose left and all the fittings and stuff. So, yeah, a couple extra fittings and mounts and things like that. So, oh, definitely uh, it pays to do a good layout because I didn't actually, I ordered an extra of every fitting in case I needed it and it turned out I didn't. So, um it pays to do a good layout because I was really thorough with, you know, what fittings I wanted where and how everything was going to happen, you know, and referencing the packaging of what I was using to see like male, male. So I knew that I needed, you know, a female coupler and a female, um, dual female couplers on those. So, uh, you know, feel free to post in the comments if you have, you know, a similar experience or a better or worse one, or, you know, let me know what, uh, air system you're using in your shop.